get your gardens ready at home, here's some extra inspiration for you. Live at the Green Bay Botanical Garden this morning, beautiful. The garden staff members have some tips for you and they're sharing the benefits of gardening. Ayesha Morales is there live this morning learning all about it. Good morning, guys. So we are in the children's garden now. It's definitely a beautiful morning here. We're learning all things gardening, whether it's tips and now talking about what you can do with the kiddos when you come here to the garden. So we've got Linda Gutsy again, education manager. So she hangs out with the kids a lot and different activities for them. So you are holding a backpack. Tell me what you got there. I am. <laughs> kids love backpacks, right? Yes. Well, here at the garden, we want the kids and families to have a way to interact. We know that maybe kids aren't as excited about looking at the flowers or they feel like they can't get involved in it so we do offer some activity backpacks that are just free for the families to use we call them our seed packs to search explore experience and discover as you're out in the garden so there's scavenger hunts in here there's little word finds there's all kinds of different things that they can do when they're in the garden cool so tell me what are the benefits of getting the kids out in nature we talked about it for adults or you know for mental health and all that but what about the kids you know it's a lot of the same benefits you're gonna help your kids to calm down and a lot of kids these days I mean it said that American spend about 90% of their time indoors and we're seeing that with kids too and so by getting them outside and away from their technology and experiencing nature that really helps their stress and mental health as well. Very cool and we are standing um in this children's garden. There's so many different things to look at. What do you? What do we have here? Yes, so there's a lot of, again, interactives for the kids. There's a maze that they can go through to find their way up to our tree house and then come on down the slide. And we actually also have what we call our wetting zoo, wet as in water. <laughs> so it's um, topiaries, it's animals that are planted and then the kids can actually water them throughout the summer, which is pretty fun. They really get into that as well. That is really neat. And once we get over here, now we are standing in front of a, kind of a new area. What is that? And what do you want to talk about when it comes to the summer and kind of an upcoming event? Yes, a little preview for you. On June 1st, June 1st through August 31st, we'll actually be opening a very new exhibit. It's called Butterflies and Blooms. So what you're looking at is our butterfly house, and it's painted to look like a monarch caterpillar. We'll have 22 different species of native Wisconsin butterflies throughout the summer. So 4,500 butterflies in total, up to 500 flying every day. Hey, there's lots to do here for sure. Definitely. Linda, thank Thank you so much. So yeah, whether it's learning about gardening or getting the kids out here, lots to do here at the Green Bay Botanical Gardens. Live in Green Bay, Aisha Morales, Action 2 News. It Get does make it, you know, clear He's, that spring is here. Yeah, for sure. Get the kids away from the joysticks for a little while and go yeah. off to the Green Bay Botanical. It's a